Siema, siema, witam was serdecznie na moim kanale, ja jestem Ardala, to jest kolejny odcinek naszych przygód z grą Hogwarts Legacy. Ja nie przeciągam, życzę wam miłego oglądania. Jedziemy! No dobrze, moi drodzy, pora na kolejnego questa. Zobaczymy, co tu mamy ciekawego do zrobienia. O! Pogadajmy sobie z Sebastianem. Zobaczymy. Hmm. No dobra. Zobaczymy, co tam ten Sebastian nam powie ciekawego. Rdest ptasi. Chyba tego nie mam jeszcze. No. Mamy dyptam. Malawa. A, nie, jest rdest ptasi. Maksima. Niewidzialności. Kupienia. I to muszę trzy na raz robić. Maksima. To nie się robi Edorus. Dobra, idziemy do tego Sebastiana. Zobaczymy, co on tam ciekawego wymyślił. <śmiech> Alohomora. Dobra, mamy iść teraz tam. Kolejna strona przewodnika. Rebellion. 
Alohomora. O, i kolejny poziom. Pięknie, pięknie. Żeby zaraz talenty rozdysponujemy. Kolejny zestaw sobie wykupię, przyda się. Teraz trochę łatwiej będzie sobie tutaj A to jest tutaj. Okay. Nie wiem, jak tę zagadkę tu rozwikłać. Kurczę. O, widzę. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? You'll never believe what I've What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. 
Hey. I'm sorry for ominous. Keeping this to ourselves Rebellion. for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous. Oh. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Mm -hmm. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian Manuel... I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. Spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Rebellion! Okay. Coś jeszcze? Teraz tylko po prostu musimy czekać na sowę. Ja będzie ten dirik coś tam będzie. Tutaj pokazuje mi. Hmm. No to pójdziemy w podróż. Musimy go złapać. Hej, teraz idziemy ich szukać. 700 metrów, a, trudno. Diri Krak. Tak to coś się nazywa. You're a deadly great spider.
should investigate. Rebellion. Who lived here, I wonder? What do you want? Uh -huh. I'm gonna snatch it. I think I have to Okay, ale ja nie wiem tutaj walczy z nimi, tylko tam chyba będzie. Tak, tu jest. No cóż, nie to wcisnąłem. A, to był jakiś sumon. Przywołane jakieś potwory. Wejście. Dobra, a ja tu przyszedłem w innym celu. Jestem cały diri krak. Tutaj. Dobra. Dobra. jeszcze jeden. Już mamy to najlepiej parkę, nie? Ten kolorowy. Kurde. Ok, to mamy jeden taki, jeden taki. Możemy wrócić na zajęcia.
I nauczymy się bombardy. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. I take it you're ready to learn your... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead. Try it on the pumpkins. Na dyniach. Bobada. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. No i fajnie mamy zaklęcie. Moi drodzy widzowie, to by było na tyle w dzisiejszym odcinku. Jeżeli Wam się podobał, zostawcie łapkę w górę. Zachęcam Was do pisania komentarzy pod filmikiem, ustawienia subika z dzwoneczkiem. Zachęcajcie swoich znajomych, by kanał subowali. I do zobaczenia w następnym odcinku. Siema!